thought I'd do a little update on the seedlings I've got going. These were sown five days ago and from the left I've got broccoli, cauliflower, then lettuce and that one is the um, Rouge Grenoble and then on the far right the Arctic King lettuce. They're all up. Broccoli are looking especially leggy but I'm not too concerned about that because I'll just plant them deep when they're ready to be transport, transplanted onwards. We'll go out in the greenhouse now and have a look at the other things out there. Okay so this is on my heated propagator bench in my greenhouse. It's 8 foot long, 2 foot wide and this is all the stuff I sowed two days ago. Apart from right at the very far end which was sowed five days ago and this is a, a tray of lettuce and it was from a seed packet called mesclum but mesclum just means mixed you can see they're starting to come up after five days so pretty pretty pleased with that it's all working now I've got all these other things out here I've made up a salad mix of just old lettuce seeds which are in these two that's why it's just says Steve on them and then as we move along this one here is the Sarah Raven Autumn Winter Mix and no word of a lie two hours ago when I come in here there wasn't one showing but they all <laughs> seem to be coming up now which I'm really pleased about nice tiny small seedlings coming and nothing I can really see anywhere else except for this now I think we all know what that means there's a slug trail right across that tray so there's an issue that I need to deal with I need to we're in an enclosed space I'm going to use some slug pellets I'll set the camera up and then show you what I'm going to do okay so what I've got here is I've got some rent -a kill slug and snail killer pellets kill slugs and snails suitable for organic gardening okay so they're not the the full blue slug pellets the ones that are renowned apparently for killing animals I have my own thoughts on that but let me just use some of these <coughs> excuse me first all I do is I just put a couple in a cap and then I just really want to put being very careful about this, I mean there's two on there, really what one on each tray. Now I have a theory about slug pellets. We've all seen many people using them before. And what generally happens, I'll just put these back in here, is you'll see somebody come out of their shed, normally on an allotment or garden, making that noise. And they'll come along <coughs> la, 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 all over the place and with the normal slug pellets it's like a blue rain. Now these pellets are designed to attract slugs to them so this one slug pellet in here will attract a slug to it. If you put a whole rain down of slug pellets you're going to attract a whole lot of slugs. There might only be one or two in here. I've seen one trail in this greenhouse this morning just on this pot which I showed you earlier. So I know there's at least one in here, but I haven't seen any along the floor or up the glass or along the bench, anywhere else in here. And I haven't seen a slug in here for a long time. So I've just put a small handful down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten slug pellets down. And to be honest with you, that's more than I normally use. I normally put one end either end of my bench where I do my potting up and one either end of this propagator. But as I've got seedlings coming through in, in this tray over here, which I showed you earlier, um, a slug can murder all those in one, one evening and come out tomorrow and they'll just be bare soil. So as they're here, I'm going to kill them and nip them in the bud now. Now, I know there's one in each tray there and two there. If tomorrow morning when I come out and look in the greenhouse, one of those has disappeared, I will replace it and just that one. I don't want to put big handfuls down, I don't want to attract them out of the garden into here, I just want to protect what's in here. Now, there's a lot of thought and a lot of discussion about slug pellets and them killing things like hedgehogs and birds. 
To be honest with you, my own personal belief is I don't think it actually happens. And that's because I've read some research that suggests with that with the amount of poison that is in a slug pellet, it will take about 2,000 slug pellets to be eaten by a hedgehog in a single sitting for it to make it feel mildly unwell. That's not killing it. And even although if you sprinkle them like mad you may put 2,000 down in one one sitting the likelihood of a hedgehog coming along and easing them all is slim to non-existence it's just not going to happen is it? it no hedgehog is going to come along and eat them they're made to attract slugs not hedgehogs there is the argument that a slug will eat the slug pellet and then die but what you'll find with a slug and what I found is that when it has eaten the slug pellet you never seem to find the bodies. I know some people say you do but mostly they they start to feel unwell before they die and they go back to ground, they go back to home. Uh, like we all do when we feel sick we go back home. I think the slugs do the same, they go back down in the soil and they're away from a hedgehog browsing it. Having said that, if it does burrow down if the hedgehog does burrow down and eats the dead slug it's still got to eat 2,000 of them to feel mildly unwell so I uh, I'm in two minds about that I really am I I don't think um, it kills animals I really don't and I know that uh, vets have done post-mortems on hedgehogs and birds and found slug poison in them because they may have eaten an infected slug which is fair enough but I don't think it's in an amount that would kill them that's the reports that I've read and until scientists on both sides agree on which which way this this thing is it's either it kills animals or it doesn't until scientists on both sides can agree somewhere between there I will just use them in a protected environment. So I'll use them here in my greenhouse or in my polytunnels down at the allotments. I won't use them out in the garden. I'd rather let nature take care of and assume a balance in there. So that's my theory on it. And to be honest with you, I don't really want to use slug pellets. I don't need to outside. Once plants are growing healthily, you'll find that most pests will leave your plants alone. So if you concentrate on getting your soil right and looking after your plants and getting them right and planting them out, you'll, you'll suffer very little pest damage anyway. It's only really at this stage, just as the, like these here, just as these plants are emerging, that they're in a dangerous state and the whole plant could be eaten by one bite from a slug. Um, once it's up and three or four inches tall, it's not really going to have that great an effect on it. Plus the fact that there will always be a pellet down for them to go for first um, to deter them. And keeping a clean and tidy greenhouse, which to be honest this isn't at the moment. It's a mess in here after a season's work. Um, if you keep it clean and tidy, there's nowhere for a slug to hide anyway. Well, that, that's my take on it. I'll just use them indoors and in a protected environment and go from there. So that's it today from Greenside Up, the home edition. Um, look after yourselves, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Tirana.